Hello everyone, I am back again with another video for you all. I know long time, no talk. Um, I filmed a ton of videos on my iPad for you guys and I'm going to refer to it as Capture Jail. It's like in a YouTube Capture Jail because every time I try to upload it, it gives me so much trouble to upload. It will fail or will quit and I don't know what to do. So I have at least five videos in capture and I had I've had other videos in the past that I've just recorded straight from my camera on my iPad and it won't allow me to upload it so it's a really unfortunate situation and I don't know what to do the only other thing I could think about doing is maybe trying to import it into my computer but I have so much space taken up already on my hard drive I'm afraid to do that and then in addition to that when you film using YouTube capture something happens where I can't I don't know how to retrieve that footage it's just in capture so it's been a very frustrating experience I've filmed a lot of you know different makeup looks that I've done and I can't upload it so today's video is going to be on some new hair products that I've purchased today and some other hair products that I've purchased in the past and that have been working for me and one product that hasn't been working for me so well. So I just want to show it to you guys. So today I picked up the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Aid Moisture Butter Green Tea and Jojoba and this is on sale right now for $13.49 which is $3 less than it normally is. It's usually $16.99. I opened it up before I started to record this and I did smell it and it has a weird smell. It smells like it's lightly scented, not heavily scented, but like a vanilla scent, like almost like a vanilla cake batter kind of scent, but not strong at all. It's very light and it says it has green tea and jojoba and the reason why I want it, and it's very lightweight, let me show you guys the texture very very lightweight it's very thin in comparison to like other shea butters out there and I wanted to pick this up because the ends of my hair I don't know if you guys you guys probably maybe notice in this strand of hair I had the um, lower half of my hair dyed all over I was trying to go for an ombre look but my stylist gave me more of a highlights ombre kind of effect and um, the ends, of course, whenever you put dye, color, or do anything to your hair, it will make it a little bit more dry. So I've been using the Tasty Kiss uh, Nourish Butter, and I'm almost done with that. And I have another jar, because I bought two during their, her Christmas sale, or Black Friday sale. But I don't find it as hydrating as I would like it to be. This has a lot more slip. Like, I remember the first time I bought her Hervetic Butter, it was perfect, it was creamy, moisturizing, it had enough oil in there for me. And then I repurchased it again, and the consistency was completely different. So if she does have another sale for Easter, I might purchase an Ayurvedic butter from her. I'll definitely have to wait and see. But um, I definitely want to try this Camille Rose Curl Aid product on my ends of my hair, maybe all throughout my hair, and see how it's been going. Sorry, and see how it works out for me. And I also picked this up, but I picked it up last week when... Um, I found out about their sale because I don't know who it was that mentioned it. I don't know if it's Naturally Curly Q or Main Objective, but one of those two girls posted on their Instagram page that um, Camille Rose was on sale at their local Target. So when I went to my Target, I went and tried it out and I always have wanted to try this fresh curl or vitalizing hair smoother and I love this product. I wish I tried it a lot sooner. It is great to revive your curls. So what I do is I put a little... It smells just like, like I know what I really can't tell right now because my hand has the curl aid on it as a base so it's giving me a vanilla note but I know when I put it on before it didn't. It's a very clean smell. It smells kind of like her curl milk if you guys have ever used that product. So it's very thin but it is super duper hydrating on my, on my hair. My hair just soaks it in. My hair loves runny liquidy products. Um, I believe I have high porosity here just because my hair, it dries very quickly. It loves to absorb product. The product doesn't just, just sit there and lay on my head. It really just, just drinks it all in. My hair is very 
I would say dehydrated. So I'm always looking for moisture, moisture, moisture. So um, I love this product and I love pairing it with the hair milk from her. And I like, I wear twist outs predominantly because I haven't found a good gel. My hair, um, I was watching Ashkins, yes, it's Ashkins, and she was talking about how her hair is going through this whole transition basically. Like it's products that used to work for her before aren't really working for her now. And I can totally, completely understand with her because last year's beautiful textures, curly, um, the curly, I think it's curly custard. Their gel worked beautifully on my hair with the Bell Nuvo um, Avocado Shea Milk. And this year, my hair is just like, eh, freeze. No, that gel is not going to work in your hair. This is nice, but we need something a little bit heavier and more. So I'm still trying to figure out what kind of gels will work best in my hair and what I would like to try. Um... Because nothing has really been working so far. So I don't know what to try. Because I I'm my thing is, it's like I hate to be left with a big tub of product that I can't use, you know. And I used to give it to my friend, but I, I, that's a whole other thing. But we, I don't give it to her, my products to her anymore. Because some people, I don't know, it's very hard for me to test gels that I can't buy on the ground or I can't buy from like a Target which has like an open door policy basically like if you use the product and you don't like it you're unsatisfied that you could return it um my Target's really good with that I don't know about all Targets if they're that great with it but I bought I bought the dark and lovely line oh I wanted to do a, a review on that for you guys but I had to return those products they were so bad. They were on sale at Target and I understand now why they were on sale because they left my hair so dry and tangled. So, yeah. But, um, so it's very hard for me to figure out what kind of gels I want to try. I really want to try the Alake Naturals Creme Brulee. I do want to try that gel. Um, there's a girl who I follow on Instagram. I can't remember her name right now if I remember it, I'll put it at the if I remember while I'm editing this video I'll put it at the bottom so maybe you guys can follow her and check her out because she does like little brief reviews on Instagram and she purchases product and all kinds of great stuff so I like following people like that on Instagram to get different ideas from and she tried it out and it looked really great in her hair and gave her hair a really nice hold so I really do want to purchase that but I'm trying to wait to see if Maybe any of those new products that Target's carrying will go on sale. Um, so, so far, I really am liking the Fresh Curls from Camille Rose. I'll have to do a review on the Curl Aid for you guys to get back to you guys and tell you guys whether it's a yay or a nay. And I also picked this up from Target today. And it's the Karen's Body Beautiful Naturally Chic Pomegranate Guava Delicate Do No Poo lather free hair wash wash and condition and the reason why i picked this up is because i've been having a lot of trouble with shampoos um i do use shampoos with sulfate because i use a lot of product on my hair when i twist my hair out because my hair is such in my opinion high porosity hair it's always searching for moisture and so i do do the lock method but i also use a lot of cream based stylers so because of that, I have been having to um, cleanse my scalp and it's been so difficult to find a product that cleanses my scalp without stripping the moisture from my hair, <laughs> which is very hard to do with a, a sulfate shampoo. So I tried the Herbal Essence, the new one, the no power bin, no silicone one. I hate it. It's horrible. My mom loves it, so more power to her. My mom's natural now, so... I'm just like, hey, mom, you can have it. Um, I used to like the Cream of Nature moisturizing shampoo that used to work beautifully in my hair. No longer does. Um, what else have I tried? Uh, that's about it as far as shampoos with sulfates go. Um, other shampooing kind of conditioning cleansing agents that I've been using is the she scented co-wash I do like that but I like to use that if I'm gonna wash my hair for the second time during the week 
So like if I do a wash and go and then two days later decide to wash my hair, I like to use that product. But I don't like to use that product to just strictly cleanse my hair because it doesn't cleanse my hair. It doesn't remove the buildup on my hair, I should say. But if I wash my hair three days ago, usually no build up on my hair, especially if I do a wash and go. But if I do a twist out, there's definitely going to be built up on my hair. And especially since I suffer from psoriasis, nine out of ten times there's usually some form of build up on my scalp. So I was reading this article on naturallycurly.com and they re they had um, what's, what products are good to use during spring. And this is one of the products that came up and they were having a sale. And I wanted to purchase it, and it was actually more expensive on their website. I think it's $16.99 on their website, and at Target, it's $15.99, and then it was on sale for $14.39. So I noticed with Target and the natural hair brands, unfortunately, some of the products are on sale, but the associates aren't, or maybe even the managers, because I don't know who who's in charge of doing what, but they're not labeling the products on sale. It's sort of like a word of mouth thing. And this is the first time I've, that I'm now hearing about this sale for this product for this week. Um, so if you guys are seeing this video now, it's on sale. I don't know if everything on the line is on sale, but this um, shampoo's on sale. So I definitely want to use this the next time I wash my hair and I will let you guys know what I think about it. And the next cleanser that I do want to purchase is the, I think it's Low Poo from Diva Curl. I almost bought that over this, but the Diva Curl was $18.99 and this is um, $14. I should have bought the Diva Curl when, it was, when the, um, I was purchasing my other stuff during the sale, but I just, I didn't think about it until after the fact when I placed my order. So hopefully this will work, so I'll let you guys know about that. So that's, that's all the products that I've purchased today. These are the two products I purchased today. The Fresh Curl from Camille Rose I purchased last week, but it's still on sale for $11.99. And I highly recommend this product. I really love it. Wish I had tried it much sooner. Going 